Hello, my name is Cheryl Wilson. I'm an abstract artist and we are going to paint this painting. And the reason why I chose this painting is it kind of goes along with several other paintings that I've done during the week. If you follow me on Instagram, then you'll see quite a few of them where I show them off in different room settings. If you're new here, my name is Cheryl Wilson. I'm an abstract artist. I do abstract expressionist mainly. I talk about paintings from blank canvas or blank paper to the end. Sometimes I do collage. Sometimes I just have an artist chat. Um, I try to make a variety on my channel. If you're returning, thank you so much. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you always coming back to support me as an artist. And um, I appreciate it so much. So let's jump into this painting and the um, the texture on here. It is a lot of texture, and um, I think it's a, I think it's a lot of fun. And then there's like a little bonus section in there in the middle about a topic that um, I've been meaning to talk about, and I've had a lot of questions about incorporating our abstract expressionist type paintings, which are more. Um, um, well, they're not traditional paintings. They're not, it's not realistic paintings into um, traditional rooms. So I think that's kind of fun. So let's jump on over there and I hope you enjoy this. Give it a thumbs up. Do that right now for me, um, please. Uh, you don't have to, but I'd love for you to. So let's jump over to my art table and let's make that painting. what I've been doing this week and it's the same style of painting that I've been doing but I just got a little bit thicker and I'm going to show you one that I just think is incredible because that is going to be one I'm going to show you the technique of how I did it and this first one is it's like ultramarine blue it's like different blues um but it's got like some reds on it and I just brought in some like cerulean blue and some light blue, just different colors in here. And it turned out really beautiful. And the second one, this is actually wood and it has the same colors on it. However, they do soak down into the canvas, the wood canvas a little bit differently. I started this one with a piece of paper and then, and I glued it down really good. And then I just pulled some of the paper off to give a very rough texture. And I don't know if you can see, but you can see the rough texture, which is what I wanted. Then here's a red one and it's got a lot of texture on it too. This is a eight by 10 and very simple, simple, simple canvas but I was just kind of playing with the texture. And that's when I came to this, this one. And the texture on this is very, very thick. Let me see if I can turn it sideways here. There's just a lot of texture on this one. And this is 11 by 14. And this is what I wanted to show you the uh, process that I um created this one there's another red one that i created a while back that when i showed it on my instagram if you haven't followed me on my instagram i showed all these um in a um montage within a room to sh because these are smaller pieces to show how incredible these look in fact a little bit later in this video i'm going to show you how you can incorporate um, modern abstract expressionism, what I do and what a lot, of, a lot of you are doing, into even traditional rooms. And when I worked in the gallery off, off um, 
out of uh, like a studio uh, residency, one of the questions I got asked is how do I fit my art in a room? And so I would sit down with them and I had always had a book. I had my art and then I had a book and I had different rooms and I showed them. And one of the things that um, several of the uh, people who bought my art talked to me about was the fact that their art, their, their houses were very um, contemporary. They weren't modern. So it was very interesting to show them how to incorporate their artwork into that type of an environment. So without further ado, let's get into the technique. Okay, so this canvas already has a little bit of texture on it. Which, which is great, but um, it's not gonna really matter. So what I did was I took a golden, and this is cadmium red, it's a medium hue, and it's an older jar, so it was a little bit thick, and I took some airbrush medium, and I just squirted it, and I use this a lot in my art, so this is nothing new using the airbrush medium, but, um, when your paint gets thick like this, adding some airbrush medium can really add a, a thinness to it. So I'm using a palette knife and this is very thick paint. So I'm adding the paint onto the canvas. It's coming out almost like peanut butter. Very thick. You could use any color, but I'm using red because I'm in a red mood right now. So just spreading this and covering up. And I may leave that little corner of, of white there. But the secret sauce to this was, I mean, I could use my palette knife and lift up, but what I found was, I love using the shop towels. Of course, this shop towel is very dirty, but by just laying down the shop towel and pulling it up, gave a very fun texture. If you do that all over the whole painting, you're going to get a lot on your shop towel. And then you can go in if you want and smooth out some areas so it's not all the same. But the shop towel is, brings a different quality than even the palette knife. And I really love how the um, shop towel brings up the paint here. So let me bring this closer to the camera. So you can see if I turn it sideways, but you can see how beautiful that looks. So I thought while this dried just a little bit before we add maybe a few touches that I would talk to you about incorporating your abstract, especially if you're an abstract expressionist, into different types of room settings and especially traditional. I have some thoughts I wanted to share with you. So I want to talk to you now about incorporating our modern, our abstract expressionistic type paintings into more traditional rooms. And this is a conversation that I had many times when I had my studio outside my home and I had a flow of, of people come in off the street to look at my art. And if a piece of art spoke to them and they wanted the piece of art, one of the conversations they had was, well, my room is a very traditional room. Sometimes they'd have pictures on their phone, they'd show me. And so I learned how to understand how to talk to 
people about Marion, the abstract expressionist modern type of paintings um, with a, a traditional room. Because I feel that mar modern abstract art has this unique ability to transcend time and seamlessly integrate into these traditional rooms. And sometimes it's the bold lines, the vibrant colors, some of the tonal blending of the textures. And these innovative concepts, they actually create this striking juxtaposition that breathes this fresh life into these more conventional settings. And that's really what people are looking for when they're looking at my art and they see something that strikes them and they like that modern look. They like the abstract expressionist lines and moves or color, but they don't know how to put it into the rooms. So this type of artwork serves as this captivating conversation starter that they want to incorporate into the room. And it gives like this dynamic energy that is um, what they're looking for. So there's like this harmonious balance between the old and the new. So don't be afraid to strike up that conversation um, with people with your art if they have a traditional type of a room. And even um, look to the traditional rooms that you might see online um, and think about how your artwork can blend into those rooms and you'll see what I mean and we can talk certainly talk more about that okay to finish off this painting it is tiny it's only like a four by four I believe let's check the back Oh, it's a six by six. I'm going to go with some black gesso and some yellow high flow. Not going to do a lot. I got a little spot down here of like different type of a value just to add interest. And so I'm going to just add a little bit of yellow to um, kind of make it into like some of the other paintings I have. This is a lot more textured. So this is adding just a, um, touch of bringing it back. Let's see. Don't like that. So let's Still a little bit wet, which is okay. And the black gesso, I think what I want is just a, I love this black gesso. It's kind of um, very somewhat thin. I'm going to add that maybe just up here. And maybe just two dots down there. Didn't mean to get that. I am messy today. Didn't mean to get that there. It dripped on my brush. So let's see. Maybe a little more. Mm. No, maybe. Yeah, I just did a little sprinkle of yellow on there. And that's it. I don't want to oversaturate this painting because it's it's small and the purpose is for it just to be a little bit different. So that's about all I want on this. And I will um, let this totally dry and I think we're done with the painting to go with, you know, some of the other paintings that I've been creating this week. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, just the whole concept of bringing in like a little new style in the painting and um, it was fun to talk about incorporating these abstract expressionist type paintings into uh, different rooms, especially the traditional rooms. And um, so I enjoyed this week and I hope you did. So thank you very much for watching my video with me. 
Um, give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. Leave me a comment if um, you enjoyed this. But thanks for coming back with me. Um, just at the end, I want to mention the subscription. We've had a lot of fun. The last uh, week, I just put out a video on uh, composition part one, more composition based on um, not the traditional compositions that you might see out there, but more for those of us that do abstract and more um, abstract expressionist type. And then I'm going to be doing the second part of the video of finding your voice. This is all ongoing. It's not something that, you know, listen to one or two videos and you've got it. But the second part is going to marry from the first part where I talked about some of the things that mean a lot to you and things that you love, that you see. And um, I had the membership, go, you know, go out there and grab some of the... Um, ideas and things and this second video is going to take the second half of it and put it together so I think it'd be really interesting and I provided a 20 page document that was free of charge so those are in the membership so it's it's well worth the $9.99 a month um, you know if you don't want to join my membership great thank you for being a part of my community but if you want to dive deeper into some of these topics I'd love to have you over there um, you can join and um, unsubscribe to the membership at any time, but I'd love to have you over there. I'm really enjoying all of you, each one of you. Um, thank you for the supporters that um, are there to support me, and the artisans are ones that are going to do a deep dive. I say I give homework, but you don't have to do it, but it's kind of like um, some things to do to help you progress in your journey. So other than that, uh, thank you for being a part of my world with me and I